So how does Hollywood work with South Park? Uh, here's this crazy, ridiculous graphic, but we all know that it starts with Matt and Trey. Okay? Matt and Trey deliver content to, uh, through South Park Studios, where they have their own animators, their production company, delivers content to um, Comedy Central. We, we know this, right? Uh, they also deal with, like, uh, Braniff, who does, like, a um, syndication uh, rights for them. And then they also deliver content rate to Paramount. Paramount is owned by NBC Universal again, which is tied, um, tied to a uh, Sumner Redstone um, and Viacom, okay? Um, now, and National Amusements, which is Sumner Redstone's... Uh, theater chain now the money goes to him because it just gets to him obviously right um but anyways um you know matt and trey license exclusively to hulu plus and eventually to uh to a um to hbo and so they get 50 percent of the the money there and the other 50 percent goes to comedy central obviously uh you know Paramount sells and gets content, you know, like the South Park movies um, and music uh, to theaters. They get it to DVD for you to consume, uh, etc. Um, so, I mean, it just gives you a sense of like, you know, yeah, and you can watch South Park on television. Um, you know, you can watch the South Park movies on television. So basically, you know, the content's created by Matt and Trey. It goes to Comedy Central for initial run, but then it goes to all sorts of different places. The content goes there, and then the money's returned. You know, when the music's played, they get publishing, they get uh, record sales, you know, they get money for the sound recordings, etc. But again, a lot of this cash ultimately goes back to um, Sumner Redstone, who owns National amusements but Viacom through being like a multinational a diversified multi multinational that's horizontally and vertically integrated um, they see a lot of that a lot of that paper too you know down 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 the way so again uh, you know it gives you a little bit of a sense of how the film industry works with South Park now you gotta understand South Park doesn't make a lot of movies um, or movie content, but a lot, what you bring in here is you bring in, um, you know, licensing, uh, and DVD, uh, and stream rights and, um, royalties and money for them, you see here, so, I mean, this is, again, another crazy fucking graphic that tries to show you, you know, the path of content and the path of money, but it all goes through, through Matt and Trey, um, which gives them a pretty, pretty close, um, connection to y'all but a lot of the money flows 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 to and from uh, uh, Paramount you know and to Viacom and eventually to some of the Redstone's pockets so basically uh, there are five major film studios or six I guess however you want to think about it, in 2019 this is because Disney recently um, bought uh, 20th Century Fox, which is now just rebranding as 20th Century. Okay, um, last year there was a $42.5 billion global market for films in the box offices. Okay, in the United States it was $11.3 billion. Um, you know, uh, so we are one of the largest markets, well, the largest market in the world, although China is, is up there or surpassed us at this point. So, America. Okay, so some of the largest companies, obviously, you're going to hear some similar names. Disney, which has a 33% market share. If you add in uh, 20th Century Fox, that gives them 37% market share. Warner, which is owned by Warner Brothers, which owns Ro Warner Brothers uh, Records, the largest music group, which owns Warner Chapel, which is one of the largest publishing companies. So when we talk about... Uh, vertical integration and diversification, um, you know, uh, it's on blast, you know, but um, they own a 14% market share. Sony, Columbia has a 12% market share. Again, Sony, Columbia is one of the big uh, three uh, record companies or, or, or music groups, okay? Uh, Paramount has 5% market share, and Paramount is a, is a, um, 
a Viacom owned, more or less Viacom owned uh, film studio. Uh, Universal is 12%, which is owned by NBC uh, Universal, I believe. Uh, and then, yeah, so they, they produce 80% of what's consumed film wise. And again, like I said, Disney last year had seven of the top 10 grossing uh, films at the box office. And they've had the top grossing film for like eight of the last 10 years. Okay. You can use some mini majors in there. Uh, Lionsgate, which is 7% market share, SDX 3% and focus, which is two. This is, you know, rough. I rounded up some of the numbers a little bit or down. So how is this, uh, industry horizontally integrated again? Uh, you know, these film studios can own multiple production companies, the production companies being at the same level of production, or in the case of Walt Disney Company, it owns two, um, you know, uh, major film studios, Disney, aka Buena Vista, and uh, 20th Century Fox, or 20th Century, okay, vertical integration, I mean, again, this happens when you own film production companies and you own film studios and you own distribution companies uh, and you, you know, so you own different levels of, of production or different stops along the chain of production. These companies are obviously very diversified. Um, they own multiple film studios. They own multiple music groups. They own multiple game publishing companies. They own multiple book publishing companies. They own you know, food industry companies, they, you know, they have their hands, you know, they own, own missile manufacturing companies or invested in them, etc. Again, this industry is highly concentrated. You know, the most of the movies that we see are produced by five, you know, five entities essentially are owned by uh, essentially five entities. Okay. And it's an oligopoly, meaning there's a few in control. So it's a very concentrated market owned by diversified multi, you know, with film studios that are owned by diversified multinational corporations that have their hands in a bunch of pots. So what is a license? This is a little image of uh, the su super awesome talent agency of what a contract is. Okay. So what is a contract or what is a license is essentially a contract. And so um, almost any time where money content uh, is exchanged. So if you look at the crazy how in uh, t TV, how the music industry, how the film industry works, right? All of that stuff engages with licensing, which is so anytime that content and money are exchanged and there's certain terms to that exchange, a license is created. Um, and these can be explicit, meaning you sign, you sign the contract or not. You know, when you buy a, a, a South Park DVD, you're implicitly agreeing to the terms of the license when you open it, meaning you will not make pirated copies or unauthorized copies of it. Um, so we engage implicit licenses all the time by clicking I agree on the iTunes agreement that is agreeing to the terms of a license and you're beholden to that, even if that means sewing your mouth to the butthole of another iTunes user's uh, you know, butthole, <laughs> your mouth, someone else's butthole. Um, so don't click. I agree. Okay. So that's what a license is. It's a, co it's a contract. And anytime you use someone's copyrighted content, you distribute it, you show it, you exhibit it in theaters, a license must occur. A contract must occur that you sign into. So some examples are when you buy a DVD, you license it, you own the plastic, you own the disc, but you don't, you license the content that's on the disc. So you own the, the physical embodiment, but you do not own what's encoded onto the grooves, right? The, the, co the copyrighted content is owned by the company. When you stream, <clears throat> excuse me, when you stream an episode of South Park on Hulu, right? Or any, anybody offers a stream, there's a license there. So Hulu has a licensing agreement with um, Trey and Matt and Comedy Central for that. HBO has a licensing agreement to be able to distribute um, its content, right? The content of South Park uh, digitally starting, starting next year. When a South Park toy is made, a license happens. So anytime a toy, t-shirt, video game, 
uh, anything that involves South Park characters in any way, uh, and a license is created. So when I say I wanted to make a Towelie doll, right, I need to get a license from, from South Park or Comedy Central to be able to make a Towelie doll.